Lift up your hands unto the heavens and tell God, Lord, I thank you for your great opportunity in my life for bringing me into your presence again one more time. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for who you are in my life. Without you, there is no me. Can't just love the Lord from the bottom of your heart. Can't praise him because he's a glorious father. That will not change his standard over your life. Let us love him and give him a praise. Hallelujah be to your name. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus name we pray. Father we want to thank you this morning. We want to appreciate you because you are God. Thank you for what only you can do. What you have done. What you are still doing. We give you a praise. We adore your holy name. We celebrate your awesome power. We say, Lord, let your name be glorified. I pray for that person watching me. You have tagged everything to today's service. And you are saying, if God cannot do it today, I don't know what will happen. I pray in the name of Jesus, the Lord will meet you at that very point of your name. Let the Lord meet you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let the grace of God meet you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let the right of God meet you in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for that person. You have a sick person, a man sick in your family. The Lord is saying, as you tell you, by the time you lift up these hands and you lay it on that person, don't be afraid the sickness will not attack you. The Lord says, as you tell you, that sickness will disappear. Amen. I lay my hands upon your hands. I declare in the name of Jesus. Let this one turn to healing therapy in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you are sick in your body, you can also do likewise. I pray in the name of Jesus. Let the power of God heal you in the name of Jesus. Amen. I declare to that community where you came from. Somebody you are watching. In your community, there is a problem. And you are afraid. I pray in the name of Jesus, every power waging war against them in your community, let the Lord fight them. Amen. I pray, let the Lord fight them. Amen. There is a lady watching. You are saying, everyone I know, they have married. I'm the only one that remain. The Lord said to me, I have planned you the way I'm supposed to do it. Then every other work is in your hands. I've done my home best. Then go and do yours. Get closer to me. And I will do it for you. He said, what you are looking for, so Sokoto is closer to you. Let God open your eyes in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let God open your eyes in the name of Jesus. Amen. There is somebody, Lord said to me, I have arranged your testimony in a very special order. And everyone that is seeing you from today, they will confirm that from you. And they begin to tell you, you look somehow different. You look somehow different. I pray in the name of Jesus, let this confirmation come. Amen. Somebody you are watching or you are here with me, there is a particular river you used to see. Anytime good things want to happen to you in your dream, let God drive that river. Amen. There is something that is done against you in that river. I pray in the name of Jesus, let God drive that river. Amen. Oh, let the power of covenant of God die in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for that man of God. It's as if nothing is happening around you anymore. The Lord said, I should tell you, you are anointed, but you are broke. The Lord said, I should tell you, he said, meet with me. I will take away that thing. I don't know for how many days or where, but the Lord, because you are connected to this, Anointing for you to meet with the Lord and the mind, the balanced mind for you to meet with the Lord. Let us release it to you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, faithful God. Hallelujah. Be to your holy name. Amen. That lady you are asking, is it because I, I committed abortion? Is it this reason? This thing I've done many years ago. Is that the reason why I cannot have children? The Lord is saying, I should tell you. That you have asked me for mercy. 
And I've released my door and the entrance of mercy to you. Say, why are you condemning yourself again? Lord said, that is not an issue. He said, for his name to be glorified. In this month of breakfast, he has tagged it to this month. I pray for that person in the name of Jesus. Let God work it for you in the name of Jesus. Somebody, you are actually getting out of hope. You are saying you are tired. The Lord said, don't be tired. I will come to your head. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Can you celebrate God for all this word you have heard today? Celebrate the almighty God for his faithfulness, for his love. Let everything that had prayer praise the Lord. Love him with a voice of triumph. Tell him that he's a great God. Mighty warrior. The great in battle. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you Holy Spirit. In Jesus name we pray. I want to celebrate God for your life. Thank God for you have claimed this word. And the words will work in your life. Please, you may take your seat. We are going to pray today. It's a serious section of prayer. And I don't want anything to distract you. Please, we are going to pray. Tell somebody beside you, say, we are going to pray. Are to pray. There are forces fighting you that is linked to you. It's very close to your life. And the Lord said to me, I want to settle those forces. If I go ahead, Isaiah chapter 25, verse 7. Isaiah 25 verse 7. This is what God wants to do for you this month. He said, And he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast. Of the covering cast over all the people. And the veil that is spread over all nations. The face of the covering cast. I pray for you today in the name of Jesus. Every face of the covering cast. Fighting your life. Saying to you, when people get it right, but not for you. I declare in the name of Jesus, the Lord will unveil it. Amen. The Lord will remove that veil in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray in the name of Jesus, everything that covers your face. Your spiritual face. You look so beautiful, pleasant and radiant. But there is a force that covers your face. I pray for that person in the name of Jesus. Let God deal with that force. Amen. Let God deal with that force. Amen. I want you to declare, say, every forces, every forces that cover my face. Cover my say, what are you waiting for? You hear waiting the word of the Lord. Hear in the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah, receive fire. Aha. Oh, yeah. 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 In the name of Jesus. Aha. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Sit down. One of my daughters in the Lord, as a matter of fact, she happened to be the handmaiden of God. One day the Lord said to me after, before her birthday, the Lord said, there is a force or during her birthday saying, that very day, they said, who joined her and the husband together? Take note of this. He says, they can never be together and something great happen. They use white cloth to back them. Oh, come, my wife, come. My wife, please come. They back them. Now, it's like this. I cover your life with the blood of Jesus. Uh -huh. Now, look at this. They back them like this. They used white cloth to tie them. And they say, as this eight remains, nothing good will come out of them. They will never enjoy the riches in their marriage. They labor so much. They do everything. And the Lord said, my son, untie it. I pray for that person in the name of Jesus Christ. Every power that tie you, I say, for the fact you are associating with a particular person, how you are living in the house, how you marry to a particular person, with the power of God, with the seven or in the man, how you are let go untie you. Sit down. They did it in as much as when people testify, they will only clap for testifiers. Whenever money enters into their hands, the money will fade away and they will not know how the money disappeared. 
The devil arranged for them the pit of losses and the pockets with a hole. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Every power that tie you, tie your children, tie your wife, tie your, tie your future. Every power that tie your business and your career. With your several in the man, who you let the power waste away. Say every fear. Can you please pray this prayer? Say every fear. Trouble in my life. Say hear the word of the Lord. Enough is enough. As I'm clapping my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ. Why you receive fire? Aha. Why you? Why Aha. Don't stop. Massa. He the help us up all over there. Aha. Zalika posu pala de yende. Why you? Aha. Aha. Don't stop it. Don't stop it. Let it receive fire. In Jesus name we pray. Take your seat. It's a day of prayer. I pray for that generation. There is a generation that is no one that rises. I pray in the name of Jesus. I want your amen to be a short word. Let God visit that generation. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen. Yes, last week I told you that we are having the part two of covenant of solution. Isn't it? I want to show you some mysteries that God showed me concerning covenant. And how covenant fights people. Hear this. Your enemy may rise up to fight you. And it will go easily when you approach it in a special manner. Is it not true? But whenever covenant is fighting you, you need prayer. You hear me very well? God established covenant with Adam and he failed. God have to make sure that another covenant is being established through Jesus. If there is any covenant fighting you in the name of Jesus, let the better covenant rise up. Amen. People have been asking questions. Why am I like this? Why is it that I did not get it right in the journey of life? Why is this pain persisting me? Why this happened against me? I told one of my sons in the Lord, God showed me, God said, any fair woman, fair women are not your wife. If you marry to a fair woman, your life will spoil forever. And it's urge, it's urge, go for fair ladies. But thank God, the Redeemer, who redeemed the heart of that boy. I pray in the name of Jesus, every power that make that trade with your mind, Kapalu Basoto, that trade with your mind, right from there, they are getting back to and tormenting your mind. Let the power fire. Why a lot of people had values and they have nothing to show is because of covenant. Today, ladies and gentlemen, is the day for covenant of solution part two. The Lord promised to say to people who are under the hunger of covenant, hear this why is covenant hungry with them is covenant a spirit is covenant a man is covenant a living organism now whenever you make covenant that is not of God demon take charge and here it is whenever you make the covenant of God Jesus take charge but I want to mention some covenant that is not of God and we break it in the name of Jesus Christ. So many people have tried to sing a new song. But there is a particular covenant that is fighting them. Lord, why can't I sing this song? I have the bundle of song on my inside. I want to sing like other people. I've been singing for people to see. I have blessed people so much. But they are not singing that covenant. So every covenant fighting anyone is this for a reason. Listen, the reason could be your great grandparents stand for it, or you also do that. I shared it before about a particular sister. She was on bed with a man some years back, many years ago. And the man said, They were naked. The man touched the back. The sister came, and I said, This is what happened. Some years, but maybe 2008 or 2009. And he had this on Wednesday like this. I said, that brother said, Lizzie, her name, her name is Lizzie. Lizzie, 
Do you know that you will not marry anybody except, except you will not marry anybody if you don't marry me? You hear me very well? At least he said with laughter, yes now, if I don't marry you, I will not marry anybody. I agree. And they used the oath of sex. They didn't know it's on oath. So, it is being documented. The Bible says, head, write this down. Write this man childless. Head can write. The wind can write. Everything in, in you know, so you don't make your word to be just a father word. Words are very powerful. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. And at 40 something, Lizzie came, no marriage. She has sown a lot of seed. As a matter of fact, she closed her account for pastors. But no solution. One day she came. She came with a bundle of envelopes and the envelope with the bundle of money inside one brown envelope. Say, man of God, I was in my dream. And the Lord said, as you meet you. And so this seed to you. They said, the solution to my problem is in your hand. Oh my God. Maybe you don't understand. Are you following me? No, something happened to her. And God said, this is what happened. We break that covenant by the power of God. And God took charge. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Every fighting covenant fights in you. Say you will not rise. Let that covenant be destroyed. Amen. Are you ready to pray? Say every covenant. Every covenant. Fighting my life. Fight my life. So what are you waiting for? Enough is enough. 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 In the name of Jesus. Say I am hungry in the name of the spirit. Hear the word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Why you receive fire? Aha. Why, why, why? You are too gentle. Aha, aha, Covenant, aha. In Jesus' name, we pray. Sit down. The Lord said, Tell the family, you have to untie them and connect them rightly. They were joined together by a pastor. But there is a force that hangs time to them and say, being together, you say you want to marry, being together will be hard. You are hearing me? The Lord started by, they have been giving back to daughters, girls. And one day the Lord said, call her and I called the wife and say, the Lord is giving you yet a boy. Yet a boy. The one they see as a boy is an, it's like an adopted one. And the Lord said, I am giving you yet a boy. And hear this, when God did it, a boy appeared. In the family of the husband, all their main children do not have children of their own. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. It was a covenant. They said, you, you want to marry. You will have children, but you will not have riches. The other siblings, they are rich. But the one that have children is not a rich person. It's like a slave to other people. I pray in the name of Jesus. Hey, every covenant fights in you. Fights in your family. And they use a way for you. They use a symbol. They use language. They use a lot of things. Let that covenant be broken. Let it be broken. The covenant in the wind. The covenant in the dark place. The covenant in the river. The covenant in the bamboo. The covenant in, in the banana tree. I pray in the name of Jesus. The covenant in the forest and desert. I command the name of Jesus. For your break. Can you shout amen? I say break. Amen. Everyone, I want you to be serious with this. I command the name of Jesus. Break. Amen. I say break. Amen. Every covenant growing with you. Covenant grow with you as you grow. Good covenant and bad covenant grow the same way. I command in the name of Jesus. Let every covenant grow with you to frustrate you. Let that covenant be destroyed. Let it be destroyed. Amen. Let it be destroyed. Amen. Oh my God. Let God deal with that. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Say every covenant grow with me. Say hear the word of the Lord. That is not of God. What are you waiting for? 
In the name of Jesus, as I'm clapping my hands, oh yeah, receive fire. Aha. 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 This is a prayer you will pray. You don't need anybody to beg you to pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. Sit down. There will be a covenant. They will say, if you move out of this thing that family used to do. One of my sons in the Lord came to eat in my house. One day, and he said, I don't eat okra. I said, you don't eat okra? I said, yes. She said, he said, yes. I said, from today, oh, there's a okra now in here. You have not eaten the okra, but you have eaten it. Come into my house and say, right from my childhood. Meaning that is a particular covenant in their family that they must not break. And I said, I said, bring the eba. I bless the eba. I bread the okra. I said, sit and start eating. A particular woman, one great apostle, I don't want to mention her name, to share this publicly. She's, she's a woman that I love so well. Now she said, because of where a mother begged her for. The mother has sons, but the mother need a daughter. The mother have to beg her. And they say, one covenant is this, she must not wear good. Are you hearing me? When the mother went to request for her, they said, this chicken, the number of the chicken, the number of the, of the, of the corn that they eat is the number of the daughter you have. And all the chickens came there, or one chicken or the other about, had only one corn. How will a chicken eat one corn? That is a spiritual chicken. Is it not true? Somebody dreamt. And she called me and said, Sir, after a particular prayer, I saw my brief, my, my, my clothes, where I used to put my cloth, my box. I saw it in the village where my parents lived. And inside that place, when I opened it, I saw cats and I saw rats. How will cats and rats stay in the same place? They did not hurt each other. No blood in their body. And this woman had been waiting on God for fruit of the womb. A sister had been waiting on God for fruit of the womb. Who will now allow this to happen? It's God Almighty that will disgrace them. And here this, when God said to me, I said, there are forces, forces who don't agree, that agree to deal with you, just for you not to be fruitful. There are some people who don't agree. And it can also ever that are not in agreement. They are come together based on a purpose. To fight your life not from growth. I pray in the name of God that he not allow you to grow. Why oh, you let God frustrate your hatred? Many years ago, one of my daughters in the Lord, <laughs> some years I call her my daughter because she's still my daughter. And conspired with somebody. Against my family. They the person that when, when we came to Lagos, they are very close. We gave them a lot of things, fridge. We gave them even our cooker, uh, gas cooker with oven in good condition and so many other things. Several so we said, come to the house, come and tell. We give them a lot, give money, give so many things. But a time came, a demon entered into them to begin to fight their benefactor. Then, another one that used to come from Ikorodu to Jodu, that one messed up. We, she was corrected. And she looked for the one that stand as the enemy and make her a good friend. And I pray one prayer. I say, Lord, whosoever, they don't used to agree at all. This one that I said was closer happened to be stark illiterate. And this one is learned. Are you listening to me? They, 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 they are not supposed to be. And they have never agreed. But suddenly, they became agree. When that one wants to come to church, go to the house of that person that she hated with passion. But here it is. I pray a prayer. I say, Lord, whosoever that agree in order to deal with me, that I don't agree before, that agree in order to deal with me, has a lot frustrated them, scatter them. Before you know, they scatter with quarry. I pray for you today. Every power of conspirators, that conspire against your rising, I enter into the wrong covenant that is hovering your family to deal with you. Let God scatter their hatred. In the name of Jesus Christ. Are you here? Yes, sir. Are you watching? Yes, 
Now hear this. Many years ago, one of my pastors said, he was ministering. I talk about one of his good friends. That his good friend happened to be a nice man. But that do not take notes of tradition in his family. Say covenant. Do not take note of tradition in his family. And you know what happened. They said in their family, he got to know this, I want to say, after the naming ceremony. You don't celebrate birthday, uh, after the birthday. You don't celebrate birthday for your child until after one year. And the mother called. Called him and said to him, in your father's family, to as many ladies, you are not closer to your mother-in-law. Something is wrong with you. You hear me? Say, in your father's family, they don't celebrate birthday until after one year. You can start celebrating from two years. And the brother said, He didn't have the power of God. He didn't have anything. Just a guy, man, and handsome boy. And the rest, I just gave birth, married, and uh, two months after their, after their marriage, the wife conceived and everything. But they wasted it because of covenant. And the day the birthday was so great. Oh my God, so great, big birthday. He was a rich man. But here it is. On that day, say on that day, at 9 p.m., or maybe from 7 or 9, thereabout, as I said, I forgot you now. And he said, the baby crawled to where they plugged their freezer and dip his hand there. And what happened? It was, she was electrocuted, a baby girl. And that was it. And they now told her brother, say, your mother is supposed to have tell you. It is the duty of your mother to let you know this. This is what happened in your father's family. Your mother married to your father's family. And this is what has been happening. He said, yes, my mother told me, I thought I was just ordinary thing, covenant. I pray today. Anyone that is standing order of covenant is fighting order the son of God to me. Let that covenant be broken. Let it be broken. There is a covenant that says you must not marry to a particular family. You must not marry to a particular race. You must not marry from a particular generation. If covenant is dealing with you, you and you are taking medication, you are only making fool of yourself. There are lots of people that what is dealing with them is covenant. But they are spending so much money for doctors. Instead of looking for the doctor of all doctors. Covenant is fighting them. They said the first daughter in this house, the first born in this house, this one will be happening to them. Ask your mother. Her story about your family, about your father's family. Then you will know that's what is called prayer investigation. There are a lot of people. They say, the beloved, one of my sons in the Lord is watching me right now. I said, I told my father sometimes ago, I say, I will not leave you. I will not go away from your environment. And it's happening. He entered into that covenant with the father. But the father did not break it. One day my son said it to us, say, Ah, we love daddy, we love you. I said, You are going to leave us. You will go and maintain your home place and become great in life. Hear this. Every covenant you have not been able to break. That is fighting you. Let God break it in the name of Jesus. I have a brother. Many years ago. Are you, are you with me? We are in Benue State. He was singing. We are betting together in the same bedroom. In the mission house in CAC. I attend CAC in Benue State. Many years ago. And he heard this. I said to him, when you are singing, I will be backing you up. I didn't know that I have put myself in trouble. And the fulfillment, that was a covenant. And it came to pass. I could not maintain my own way and my own lane. One day we had a particular concert. And he called me. I said, God, I've been praying. I said, when am I going to come out of this? I've been praying. I learned some things from him too. Good man. Good brother, but covenant tie me down. And he called me and said, Look, authority don't stay under authority. Go your way like this. Let me go my way like this because you are about to marry. I pray for you today. Every covenant you tie yourself to, I command, let God break you out. Amen. Some things will be happening in the life of people, they will count it to be ordinary. But it's a covenant. My jam, walk, cuckoo, talk, it's definitely a bit about that. 
the covenant of darkness that you have made by yourself or they make on your behalf. I command in the name of Jesus, oh yeah, break. I want you to use your mouth to declare, say every covenant that I made with my mouth, dealing with my life. So what are you waiting for? Hear the word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, as I'm clapping my hands, oh yeah, break by fire, 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 break by fire. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Sit down. I crown it and I declare. I went to preach. Covenant that is fighting your life with judo. I pray in the name of Jesus. Let God break it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Reason why a lot of people obtain the correct degree. But no progress. It's because of the covenant that is fighting them. Many years ago, a professor was brought, a professor of a Greek from Ibadan, who became professor at the age of 30 something. You know, a man became professor at the age of 36. You know what it means. That man is great upstairs. But covenant turned him to a non entity. A time came in his life, professor of agriculture. University of Ibadan. The time came in his life. He would go and drink and just put the key on the vehicle and begin to trek, going as a non entity. People begin to mock him. The sister brought him, say, I know a particular pastor. And this man he gave back to one pastor in Lagos, I will not mention. The church was trending then. But the mother said, You must not have anything to do with your father. This man gave back to a doctor and the mother said, you must not have anything to do with your father. Anything you have to leg back, tomo leg back, or not no leg back, whosoever that children cannot rescue, the wife cannot rescue, the husband cannot rescue, it's God that can rescue. When they brought this man to God of TCCC, the Lord of TCCC touched this man and he regained his liberty. He was able to talk the second day he met me. I pray in the name of Jesus, every covenant of sex fighting you. Manika Paso Polianda, every covenant of bed fighting you. Every covenant that you say, hey, this is what Jesus do. The covenant of looking, the covenant of thought. Let Almighty fight it for you in the name of Jesus. I say, let God fight it for you in the name of Jesus. Let the power of God fight it for you in the name of Jesus. Say, covenant I enter into by myself. That is healing with me now. Say, so what are you waiting for? Enough is enough. In the name of Jesus, as I'm play, clapping my hands, oh yeah, break my fire, yeah. break my fire, yeah. break my fire, yeah. break my fire, aha, oh yeah. Aha. Masaki Palubo Sotopla. Shout it, shout it, shout it, shout it, aha. Let the fire of prayer flow into your body. Let it penetrate into that place. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Sit down. There is a covenant that says nobody, nobody must be lifted up in your family. And whosoever that wants to be lifted up, sickness will come and begin to attack that person. And here my day, uh, why leaving the person will turn to history? But hear the word of the Lord for such people. Covenant fighting you because you have done good. I pray in the name of Jesus, let that covenant wither. Amen. There is a particular person, the Lord says, Son, you have to be praying for her. She is a woman, a, a woman that trained all her siblings. Lord laid this in my heart this week. He said, You have to be praying for her. She trained all her siblings. Her marriage collapsed. Sickness entered into her life. Nothing is working. I want you to point your finger to heaven for me, for the sake of that sister. I pray in the name of Jesus, I will not mention him. Let the covenant of Jesus of Calvary, the covenant of healing ministry in the life of Jesus, let that covenant penetrate into the life of that sister in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Some families stop at a child. My dear Muni. <laughs> no head is lifted in some family. So family must not produce educated person no matter how hard they try. 
There are covenants that is older than you that you cannot even talk about. That is older than your great grandparents. That boy is not older than your maker. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Many years ago, Pastor Chidi Okonko of his late memory happened to be my pastor. A great man of God, a prayer warrior, a man that loved God. Something happened to him. One day we went, we returned from Paracot, and we discovered that you have a ministry, and he invited me, and we went. And I said, God, before you show anything to any man in this place, you must show me. Even before you show Pastor Chidi, Prophet Chidi. Then the pastor in charge of Lagos branch, when the vision is going on, he will be sleeping. And I will carry her and follow him. Part of the prophetic grace, I covet it for him. Apart from the one that came with me from heaven. Now, one day he was ministering. He said, there was a particular person who dreamt and came for solution. Can I explain the dream? Says that this person that dreamt said, I saw a particular angel coming to me. I was in the place of prayer, praying so seriously. And the angel was there with a lot of glittering things. And immediately, when that angel appeared, I saw another personality appear beside me. When that personality appeared beside me, then the personality asked the angel, you can't give it to him. And he said, he addressed that brother with the name of his father. Maybe my name is, my father's name is Moses Adeyokun Atayiro. And that spirit addressed me as Moses Adeyokun Atayiro. He said, look at Moses Adeyokun Atayiro. This is what Moses has done. But not the boy, but the father. But because of the link in the blood. And the angel, and the, that person, that spirit said to the angel, you know, your God is a covenant keeping God. He understand. This is Moses. It is not made for Moses. But the, bro the brother could not do anything in the revelation. Say, I am not Moses. I removed the blood of Moses from my body. I removed the garment of Moses from my body. I removed this. He could not do that until when he woke up and the angel left. I pray in the name of Jesus. If you are into any black covenant, everyone, I want you to be angry. That is fighting you at the boss of her. Let God destroy it in the name of Jesus Christ. Every blood of your father and your body that is frustrating you. Every blood of your mother and your body that is frustrating you. Every generation of blood in your body that is frustrating you. I command the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah, let that blood wipe off. Oh, my God. I say wipe off. I want you to declare. Say every evil blood in my body. Fighting my life. Say enough is enough. What are you waiting for? Hear the word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, oh yeah, this right by fire. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, yeah. Don't stop. Pray their prayer. Masaka palia bosoto proli adayaza. You better pray that prayer very well. Aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Colossians chapter 2, verse 14 says. Blotting out the adoration of ordinances that was against us. Which was contrary to us. And took it. Out of the way. Learning it, into the, learning it to his cross. Jesus took this away. You are going to declare. Say because my Jesus. Has taken away. Has taken away. Every covenant. That is negative. To my life, say, Oh, thou negative covenant, parading my life, dealing with me, fighting me. Say, What are you waiting for? Hear the word of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah, they destroy it by fire. Oh, yeah, destroy it. Pray very well. Shout it, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Aha. Uh -huh. In Jesus' name we pray. I pray in the name of Jesus. Let the Lord break any form of covenant that is waging a gay war against your personal life. I pray in the name of Jesus that power waging war against your life. Let God break that covenant. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hebrews chapter 8, verse 6 says, But now Jesus, our high priest, 
has been given a ministry. I'm reading from NLT. But now Jesus, our high priest, has been given a ministry that is far, far superior to the old priesthood. Take note of this word. For he is the one who meditates for us a far better covenant with God based on better promises. The next verse. But when God finds fault with the people, he said, the day is come, see the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the people of Nigeria, people of Israel, the children of Adele Kiatayero, he said, I will make Hebrew chapter 8, verse 8, and 18. He said, he's going to make that covenant. And verse 9, I'm going to read the 8 together. Let me start from the beginning, please. From verse 6. Hebrew chapter 8, verse 6, and 18 says, But now Jesus, our high priest, has been given a ministry that is far superior to the whole priesthood. Take note of this. For he is the one who meditates for us a better covenant with God. Based on what? Better promise. The better promises of God will come to pass in your life in the name of Jesus. Let it verse 7 together very loud and clear. One to go. If the first covenant has been faultless, there would have been no need for the second covenant to replace it. Because where the first covenant is faultless. The first covenant of your forefathers, they are not a good covenant. But he's saying, then this is the reason the new covenant is coming. Now, verse 8 says, can we read it together very loud and clear? I want to go. But when God found fault with the people, he said, the day is coming. Saying the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the people of Israel and Judah. Mention the name of your family. The people of Ezekiel, Adeleke, Atayero, Aha. Verse 9, want to go. This covenant will not be like the one I made with the ancestor. When I took them by the hand and lead them out of the land of Egypt. They did not remain faithful to my covenant. So I turned my back on them. Say the Lord. I pray the covenant that your family enter into that may God to turn his back on your family. I pray in the name of Jesus. Oh yeah, let God break that covenant. Amen. Let God break that covenant. Amen. The word solution is a means of solving problems or dealing with difficult issues. Because we are in the time of covenant of solution. And covenant is a contract draw up by deed when it comes by law between two or more people. It's an act that is performed intentionally or consciously. So you don't do it unconsciously. You do it intentionally or you do it consciously. So when it turns to a divine covenant, it's now between God and man. And it is an agreement that brings about the relationship of commitment between God and his people. I pray in the name of Jesus, by the order of God, let the covenant of God be established in your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Can you declare the covenant of God? Concerning my life and my family. Say in the name of Jesus. As I'm clapping my hands. Flow, 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 flow. Aha. Don't stop. Aha. Don't stop. Massacre the Sopali and the Sada. In Jesus' name we pray. I command every spirit in your life that is taking hold or laying call or laying. Complain on the covenant you have entered into. I command the name of Judas. That covenant that frustrates people before you. And because you came from that family, they make you to say it. And it's working against you. I pray in the name of Judas, let God give you a better covenant. Amen. Covenant tie you to a spot. Saying that if people get right here, you will never get there. I pray in the name of Jesus. Let God break that covenant in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, that covenant you have entered into in your ignorant state. Is it a father covenant? Sexual covenant? Friendship covenant? Religious covenant? And that is waging war against you. Environmental covenant. The covenant you enter into in school. Blood covenant. I pray in the name of Jesus. Let God break it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. A sister once came, she's now a member. Some years back, when she came, I said, 
Why you are not married? The Lord said to me, there is a blood of one man in your body. The man is married, but you are not married. And he said, I said, tell me what happened. He said, the brother said, for me to know that you will not disappoint me, cut my body and lick my blood. And I said, do you do yours too? Say, I did not do it. I said, now, the brother is free to marry, but you are not free. I pray for somebody with a better hammer. That covenant fighting your life said you will not go. I command the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah, let that covenant be broken. Amen. Let that covenant be broken. Amen. Oh, let it be broken. Amen. 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 Break, 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 break. Aha, oh, yeah. Don't stop. Pray that prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Any, any hidden problem in your life that is laying claim on the covenant, I pray in the name of Jesus, let it backfire. Amen. I command the light of revival, heart of revival, spirit of revival, power of revival, anointing of revival, dust of revival, Illumination of revival, fire of revival, our pony of the spirit of revival. I command the name of Jesus, let it locate you and break that covenant in the name of Jesus. That covenant you enter into with the ground that you did not know. That covenant you enter into with, with, with the wind that you did not know. That covenant you enter into with a man that you did not know. To a covenant that you did not know. That is now troubling your life. That covenant, they enter into your behalf and they say, Any children that grow from this, how this is what they are going to be. I pray in the name of Jesus that is now working. Don't say, say Lord, you see your good. Eh? I command in the name of Jesus, let the heaven break it. Amen. I say, Let the heaven break it. Amen. Let the heaven break it. Amen. I say, Let the heaven break it. Amen. Daniel received the covenant of solution by saying that you will move to the harder. You will trample your feet on them and they will not hurt you. David received the, received the covenant of solution. He said, I will establish my covenant with you forever. And even in the wilderness, nothing harm him. I pray for you today in the name of Jesus. Let every covenant waging war against your rising and your growth. Let it be broken in the name of Jesus. Hey, hey, hey. A woman once said to me, he says, Daddy, Anytime I'm in good, I'm in good mood with my husband. We are happy. Anytime we are happy, riches will not come. The business of my husband will not do well. But anytime we are hungry, we are not in order. We are in disagreement in the marriage. The business of my husband will be going well. And I say, my dear Mukanyo, is a covenant that says this will happen. They, want to, they don't want you to marry. Now that you are married, they say, the season of your happiness in marriage will bring sadness financially. I pray by the order of God in the name of Jesus. Every covenant fight in your marriage. Oh, you pray. Amen. Think of the covenant you have entered into by yourself. Or because of love. You have entered into. Some people will say, immediately their mother died now. They will be the next person to die with their mother. They have said it in their mind. And the counting the age of their mother, they will go for it. I pray in the name of Jesus. As you are praying, I back you up in the name of Jesus. Any covenant I enter into or know, the one I, you enter into or know it to you. The heaven is breaking right now. Breaking it right now. Breaking it right now. Aha. Breaking it right now. In the name of Jesus. Start declaring. Start declaring. Start declaring. Start declaring. Masaki polo bosutu. Pleke yanda basahuda. Ezeki ni mosuta. Pleke mosutu. Pleke de yaza. So declaring. Majamuyi declare studio pray. Masu kari masu pari anda kaseli ke bo shada. Pray 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 everyone pray. Cameraman pray. Aha pray. Let God break their covenant. Their covenant you enter into that ridicule you. The one that limits you. The one fighting you. The one say look there you will never get there. Your father did not get to this level you will never get there. Aha! Uh -huh. Be able to break it. Break the covenant. Break the covenant. 
that covenant that says what kill your grandfather will kill your father, and that kid your father will kill you. Or you are a son. And they said, the way your father disappeared, the same way you will disappear. The same thing happened to the grandmother, happened to your mother, I said it's going to happen to you. Begin to declare. I break it. Covenant that says you will stop at one child. That you will not guard that children. Because this is the level that your mother gets to. You have to break that covenant now. You have to break it. You have to break it. Covenant fighting your education. You have to break it. Covenant fighting your ministry. You have to break it. Mali Bosupali and the so shall it be in Jesus' name we pray.